everyone, Mike Goldberg here with Promation Inc. USA. For today's video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic soldering program using our Quick 9434 tabletop soldering robot. In this demonstration, you'll see how to set up a basic soldering program, execute or perform a point validation or simulation run, as well as execute the soldering program itself. In today's demo, we'll be featuring an IPC test board. This board consists of multiple through-hole components such as resistors, transistors, IC caps, and dip connectors. So without further ado, let's get started. So to get started, here are the two test boards I have in front of me. This one has already been completed with full clinch techniques. Uh, this is in fact the board we will be programming today, both sides, just to give you a good feel. So, in order to begin, we'll go ahead and insert our program name. Located on the right side of the screen, we'll have a File New option. By pressing F1, we can insert a file name. Using the alphanumeric keys, you can go ahead and enter your file name now. I've selected just simply IPC to designate this program. And once you're complete, go ahead and press Enter to then solidify that program into the system. Now to begin editing, on the right side we'll see F2, Edit, F2 again for File Edit. This will in fact origin the machine and allow us to begin programming. So to insert a new point, we'll go ahead and press F1. Uh, this will then prompt us with the screen as to what type of mood we would like to make. Uh, in this screen we'll go ahead and put Point, as we're simply programming a single point. Now, using the shift button will actually allow you to change the jogging speed of the robot. You can see that designated just above the up arrow on the LCD display. And I'm going to show you a few examples of different run modes here. We have fast movement, medium movement, and slow movement. And at this point, we're going to now drive the robot to the desired solder joint or soldering location. And by pressing F4, we'll then be able to insert our wire feed parameters under Teach Params 2. Now we have a five slot memory bank that will allow us to store different wire feeds for easy recall. Uh, here I'm just going to put in some sample values. Of course, there's always fine tuning that goes along with your out length as well as your solder wire retract length and dwell times. This is truly the process development portion. But once we've actually inserted our values, we'll go ahead and press enter. This will now save it into memory bank 1. Press enter again. And now we're going to insert our sloping line parameters. Uh, as easily as this is to explain, we'll just go ahead and raise the Z directly up for slope line end and slightly over and down to the left or right, depending upon which, how you have the soldering iron orientated, and that will then solidify your start and end point. Uh, you'll actually be able to see up at the top of the teach pendant, you'll have a sloping line start as well as a sloping line end. A sloping line end is typically directly above the joint, just simply raising the z-axis, whereas a sloping line start might hinder off to one side of the joint or another. To enter all these values into our program, we'll go ahead and press the enter button four times, saving the wire feed values, the sloping line start and end points, as well as your actual soldering location. And you'll actually notice the first point now appear in your program. Uh, I've simply pressed the ORG button or the origin button to run the origin to home. Now, if you'd like to simulation run, you can go ahead and press the F4 button. Uh, that will allow a check mark, so to speak, to be implemented next to the sim and to actuate the simulation program we'll go ahead and press enter uh, make sure that the robot is clear of any foreign materials and the robot will in fact run to that location now in order to download the program we go ahead and press the escape key now uh, that will allow us to be prompt with a download screen and at that point you will be allowed to uh, in fact download the program as well as execute the program by depressing F1. Tonight, 
Well, everyone, this concludes our video demonstration of how to program the Quick 9434 soldering robot. I hope all the information in the video was useful to you in some way. Be sure to stay tuned for more product videos and new product launches, and remember to go pro.